our fun learning video. What is fashion? Part 1 video. Let's check it out with Big and Little Rascal's team. Let's visit this chocolate shop. This is one whole chocolate cookie. After I beat some part of the cookie and ate it, now the cookie is not one whole anymore. It is just a fraction or a portion of one whole. So, what is a fraction? Just remember this simple meaning. A fraction is a part or a portion of one whole. Fractions are represented in this kind of numbers. Have you seen these numbers before? So, what's that mean? Fraction consists of two numbers. One is at the top and one is at the bottom. Like this. The number on the top is called numerator. The number on the bottom is called denominator. I have a big delicious pizza here. And I need to divide this for two friends. So, I cut it into two. One pizza divided into two. Each person will receive half of the pizza, which is one out of two. But now, if I need to divide this pizza for four friends, then I need to divide this pizza into four, which what we call as quarter. Each person will receive a quarter of a pizza. So half and quarter are fraction or portion of one whole. If we add up a quarter of a pizza with another quarter of a pizza, it becomes half, one out of two. And if we add up three of one quarter pizza together, it becomes three quarters. 3 out of 4. Let's say we have a birthday cake here. Yay! We will divide the cake for 8 friends. After we blow the candle, we will cut the cake into 8 slices equally. So, how much of the cake each person will have? One cake divided into 8. So each part is 1 out of 8. Each person receives one eighth. Yum. Now, quiz time! Ready? Okay, Logan is walking from his house to his favorite cafe. And we met him on the way. Then we asked Logan, how far has he walked from his house to the cafe? Logan thinks that he has walked two-thirds of his total trip. So how much more Logan need to walk to reach to the cafe? Can you please tell us how much more in fraction that Logan still need to walk to reach the cafe? Please feel free to pause this video while you do your calculation. We will check our answer together after this. Have you got your answer? Let's check it out together. When we met Logan, he was on the way to the cafe and he has walked two-thirds of his total trip from his house to the cafe. One whole trip represents one full trip from Logan's house to the cafe. And we can say as one. But Logan has only walked for two-thirds of the one full trip. So the remaining distance left in fraction is one minus two-thirds. To make this subtraction easier, let's change the one whole to the fraction form. One is equal to three out of three because three divided by three is equals to one. Don't forget, all number divided by the number itself equals to one. We use three out of three so, the denominator or the bottom number 3 is the same as 2 thirds. 
both need to have the same bottom number so we can subtract the fraction easily. So, 3 out of 3 minus 2 out of 3. First, let's do 3 minus 2. It gives us 1. Then, the bottom number 3 also follows here. So, the remaining distance that Logan still need to walk to reach to the cafe is one third of the full trip. Great work everyone! Hope now you have some understanding about what is fraction. And please continue to watch our fun learning video. Part 2, we will learn about how to simplify a fraction. Please don't forget to subscribe and continue the fun learning with us. Thank you for watching. See you later.